Today we uh, celebrate the feast day of the dedication of the St. John, Lateran, John Lateran Basilica in Rome. And you might be asking, who's St. John Lateran? There is no St. John Lateran. Uh, Saint, Saint, it's St. John the Baptist at the Lateran. And this is the cathedral of the Pope. It's uh, where the Pope has his seat. A lot of times because he lives at, uh, next to uh, the, the Basilica of St. Peter and St. Paul, we think that that's his cathedral, but it's actually St. John Lateran across town. Uh, and so the church says, this is our mother church. And so that's why we celebrate this dedication of the, of the Basilica today. And I, I was recalling how Jesus in the gospel, he's cleansing the temple. He's cleansing the temple because... Um, in case you don't know how the temple was set up, it had different courts where different classes of people could enter. At the very heart was the Holy of Holies, where only the high priest could enter and only once a year. But outside of that was the area of sacrifice where only the priestly class could enter. And beyond that was the, the temple of the, 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 the men where they could the Jewish men could enter, and then beyond that was the temple of the women, where even the Jewish women could enter, but then beyond that was the temple of the Gentiles, where if you were a Gentile, which is most of us, um, we could, if we were to go to the temple, we could go into that area in order to worship Almighty God, but we could not go any further. Now, the money changers and the selling of, of uh, the oxen and uh, the, other, the doves and everything else, this was taking place in the court of the Gentiles. And Jesus was mightily upset because let's be honest, have you ever tried to pray in a marketplace? You might be able to shoot up a prayer to Almighty God, but it's hard to really focus and get into that depth of relationship. Because there's just so much chaos going on. And Jesus sees, you know, people are exchanging money and they're going over and they're trying to buy oxen and, and sheep in order to offer for sacrifice. And they have all this chaos going on. Which means the people who have not converted themselves completely over to Judaism cannot come and worship in peace. He's saying, my house is supposed to be a place for all people to come and worship Almighty God. And so he's driving them out in order that they may have this place to be able to worship. Now, St. Paul tells us that the temple, we are God's temple. We are God's temple. And this is a reminder for us. That our bodies are, are a place that is holy. But it's also a reminder to us that we need to prepare ourselves to worship Almighty God in our temple. We need to allow ourselves to have that quiet when we come. And I think about how do we prepare to celebrate Mass, for instance? What type of preparation do we have as we're coming in? Because... Let's be honest. If we just come in, uh, rushing in and saying, okay, well, it takes us a while to place ourselves in the presence of God. And we might, by the time we get there, if we're just rushing in and not having done any preparation, we might have missed the readings and maybe even part of Father Vaughn's extremely long homily. Um, and so we're missing the ability to really enter into this. So God says to us, no, take the time that you need beforehand to prepare yourself to enter into these sacred mysteries, to be able to slough off the things, the, the, the struggles, the cares of the world that are eating and nipping at us, that keep our mind going. So we're saying, okay, well, I need to go shopping afterwards. I need to make sure I pick up tissues and I've got to do this and do that and the other thing. To be able to put those down and say, okay, this is time for me and God. And we, I don't know about you, but I know I cannot just do that by just a flip of a switch. It takes time to enter into. I think of it, the difference between, I love this time of year uh, because 
when I go home to my parents on the cool days, we have a fire in the fireplace, and it's just so wonderful to be able to go there and you know set up the fireplace and you know light the 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 paper and then have the kindling going and then put the wood on. It takes a while though for it to get hot. It takes a while for it to warm up. And re but once it's there and you got the coal, the bed of coals there, it's just something you can really enjoy and be there. And my parents and I just love sitting in there and playing games or praying or doing whatever. As opposed to in the rectory here where I have a gas fireplace where push a button poof, and we got a fire. Our spiritual lives are not a poof, press the button, we've got a fire. It takes time to enter in, to warm up, to build up those coals. And so on this feast day of the Lateran Basilica, I invite you to really ponder what do I need to do to prepare myself to enter into Mass so that I can hear the readings, not just, not just have them wash over me, but let them enter in so that I can be prepared to receive Almighty God in the sacred host, in the Eucharist, who wants to come not just to fill my stomach, but to enter into union with me in my wholeness, body, soul. Let us ask then God for that courage to be able to do what we need to do to enter into Mass.